Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a Java program on data visualization. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring an IDE. I will be using IntelliJ IDE in this video, a swing module to create a beautiful interface and a jfree chart.jar file which will be added to the dependency. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is the main method. I have added the object of pie chart over here and this is a GUI form so you can create one by going over here in the project package. Click on new, click on swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. I have named it as pie chart. So two files will be generated the dot java file for the code, the dot form file uh, for the UI. So I have also added the uh, file over here. In the dependencies under module section okay the jfree chart uh, dot jar file now uh, let's understand the ui over here are the two text fields this is a j label these are the j labels these three are the buttons over here and over here and here these two are the panels uh, we'll be uh, storing uh, the we'll be displaying the pie chart over here this is the pie panel and over here is the table and our main panel is uh, uh, named as main frame and i have also provided few margins over here now let's move to the code okay this is our uh, class these fields will be generated automatically once you design the form and uh, you will be needing these three properties for the uh, pie chart and these two properties for the table okay so we'll have the data in the default pie data set and you'll be requiring this chart panel to have uh, the pie chart in that panel okay now i have created this object of jframe and this is our constructor so uh, we'll be using this frame object to call these properties and uh, to display the uh, our main frame this particular uh, frame so this uh, this uh, method uh, it terminates the program on pressing the cross button uh, we need to specify our panel okay this uh, method requires the j panel as parameter so we'll provide the main frame okay this resizes the frame and uh, this takes the frame to, uh, to the center of the screen and this uh, is uh, need to be set to true so that the panel is visible now we are calling this method display table let's see uh, the uh, working of this method okay display table so uh, we have uh, two columns the items and the amount okay so we are storing it in array we are creating we have all created the model okay default table model uh, new object and uh, we have passed the data okay initially it will be null and the column names now this uh, model needs to be passed to the j table and then we are adding it to the panel panel 2 uh, uh, was for the table so we are adding it uh, in the new object of j scroll pane okay now uh, let's add the functionalities to all the buttons to add the functionality right click over to the button go to create listener and then click on action listener uh, this is the code for the add button so i have uh, extracted the data from the text fields okay these are the text fields which i have named as item and the amount so uh, this uh, variables are for the data and I have created an object type array okay uh, as the add row requires the object array as parameter okay so we are using the model object and calling this method and we are passing our data now we are setting the uh, text fields to null okay so add button basically adds uh, whatever you passes here over here in the text fields 
this is the code for the pie chart button okay so we are uh, what we are doing is uh, removing everything from the panel okay this this particular panel then we are calling this method show pie i'll show you the working in a minute and uh, this validate function is to refresh the frame okay so once removing everything uh, you need to refresh the ui so this validate uh, will do that work now uh, show pi method okay so uh, we are creating an object of pi data set okay we need to pass uh, our data all the data which we have put in this table so uh, one by one we'll uh, go through all the rows uh, in the table so i'm uh, using this loop okay so uh, get value at requires the row and the column index so i'm passing uh, the rows and the column over here since there are only two columns i am hard coding it this way okay and uh, for the rows i have uh, applied this loop now extracting uh, the name and the amount i am passing it to this uh, method set value of pi data set now we have all the data uh, now we need to pass it to this create pi chart of chart pa uh, chart factory uh, class okay then we'll again store it to this pie chart and then we need uh yeah there are a few parameters over here so you need to pass the title okay the data and uh, these three parameters needs to be set to true now finally calling this pie chart dot get plot then uh, uh we have the final pie chart ready so we have we need to put it in the panel okay so chart panel basically does that work and finally the chart panel uh, needs to go to the main panel okay this panel over here this is panel for the uh, data uh, the final pie chart so we are adding it okay now let's move to the working of reset button okay so reset button basically re removes everything from the uh, pie chart panel okay the table panel and then every after removing everything we need to display the empty table so this method supposed to run after this and then uh, after everything we need to refresh it okay this was it let's run the program okay uh, you can see the table is empty for now let uh, let us add few data okay uh, i have added some data over here and the amount now let's press this button okay you can see a pie chart has been created uh, with all the markings this uh, red defines the fruits the green part is stationary and uh, vegetables is blue it uh, also marks over here and uh, um it also displays you can see it also displays the percentage values the fruits is 11 percent the stationery is 56 and uh, vegetables are 33 okay uh, this was it i hope you understood the working of the code thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas